Hi there, welcome to Recap City. Today, I am going to share a 2020 American comedy slasher movie titled, Freaky. Warning, spoilers ahead. Enjoy watching. The movie begins with the story of the four teenagers named Ginny, Evan, Sandra, and Isaac, on Wednesday, November 11th. They are talking about the Blissfield Butcher, a reputed serial murderer who has allegedly been committing killings since the 1970s without being apprehended. While Ginny and Evan make out, Isaac and Sandra walk inside to retrieve a bottle of wine. Inside the house they found an ancient dagger called La Dola. Soon after, Isaac is alone and the butcher saw him. The butcher forces a wine bottle down his throat and breaks it, causing the glass to pierce his throat. Later, he grabs Sandra and strikes her in the head with a toilet seat. The butcher then finds the other two, first putting a broken tennis racket to Evan's head and impaling Ginny on a pole in the living room. Her body is found by her parents when they get home, and the dagger is missing. The next day, we are introduced to our protagonist Millie Kessler, who has just woken up for school. She lives with her mother Coral and older sister Charlene, who is a police officer. Since Millie and Charlene's father passed away a year ago, there has been tension between the three of them. Millie goes to school and hangs with her best friends Josh and Nyla. The two are excited about the upcoming homecoming dance, but Millie says she is going to spend time with her mom. Her friends reassure her that she is a piece, despite the fact that she struggles with self-esteem. Millie is antagonized by popular girl Ryler and her woodshop teacher Mr. Bernardi. Her teacher forces her to do a presentation that she wasn't prepared for and humiliates her in front of the class and her crush Booker. The news of the previous killings of the four teens is then brought to the attention of the entire class. Later that evening, Millie gets soda thrown at her when she is acting as a mascot for the school's football squad. She waits for her mother to pick her up after the game, but when she calls her, Coral is drunk that she passed out on the couch. Luckily, Charlene calls Millie and offers to pick her up. As Millie waits, the lights around her go out. The butcher suddenly shows up, and chased her into the football field. When he caught her, he takes out the missing Wadola knife and raises it high. The ground underneath them temporarily assumes some sort of ancient ground before the butcher stabs Millie in the shoulder with the knife. Charlene arrives and fires her gun in the air which scares the butcher and runs away. She then takes her sister to the station, but Millie doesn't seem like herself. Friday the 13th, the butcher wakes up in Millie's body and starts behaving strangely and menacingly. In the meantime, Millie herself awakens in the butcher's body near the old mill. She panics and runs screaming for help. Anyone Millie comes across will fear and scream at the sight of her since everyone knows what the butcher looks like because of the recent news sketch. The butcher then goes to school after it gives Millie a more attractive makeover that everyone notices. When Ryler approaches him, he awkwardly leaves with her towards the locker room in an effort to get her alone and murder her. Millie then shows up at the school, where she takes a shower. Butcher and Ryler become aware of her presence, and Butcher takes Ryler to hide. He puts her in a freezer and locks her in, causing her to freeze to death. Millie then finds Josh and Nyla, who runs away. She corners them in the kitchen and after they stop throwing things at her, she proves that she is Millie by doing the Beavers cheerleading team dance routine. Josh and Nyla ask her questions only Millie would know, and they realize that it is their friend. After Millie mentions the dagger, Josh and Nyla go to their Spanish teacher, who can read the message on the dagger and tells them that the switch becomes permanent after 24 hours, so they have roughly 9 hours to get Millie back in her body. The butcher finds Mr. Bernardi after he was being a jerk again. He puts on a protective coat and glasses before turning on the buzzsaw. Bernardi tries to fight Butcher until he jams a screwdriver in his neck, and then pushes his body through the saw to split him in half. Cops arrive at the school after they got word that the Butcher was spotted, which has also led to the cancellation of the homecoming dance. Butcher comes out of the woodshop just as Millie, Josh, and Nyla spot him. However, Butcher alerts the cops to their presence and has them chase Millie and her friends. They hop in Josh's car and drive away, but Charlene is on duty and pursues them. They are able to buy themselves time and run into the mall where they manage to get away from her. Josh and Nyla handed Millie a rubber mask to disguise herself. Meanwhile, Butcher is with a couple of jocks at an arcade who complain about the dance being cancelled. As Millie, he suggests going to the old mill. The Butcher then gives Booker a seductive look and tries to lure him in the back room to get him killed, but Millie and her friends intervene and knock them both unconscious. The friends take Booker and the Butcher to Josh's house. After some confusion, Millie convinces Booker by reciting a love poem that she left in his locker a few weeks earlier. They keep Butcher tied up with Josh keeping an eye on him, while Millie goes with Nyla and Booker to the police station to retrieve the dagger from the evidence locker. At the station, Nyla tells a suspicious Charlene that the Butcher kidnapped her and Josh, and has followed her here. This gets Charlene to check the perimeter outside while Nyla starts looking for the dagger. Back at Josh's house, his mom comes home to find Millie tied up on a chair, 
and when she tries to remove the binds, Butcher cuts himself free and tries to chase after Josh and his mom before running to the station. Millie and Booker go into the station just as Charlene has gone back inside to suspect Nyla, all while Butcher steals Charlene's cruiser. Millie is able to overpower Charlene and lock her in a cell while they run to the old mill where the dance is taking place since they realize Butcher is going to try and kill as many people as possible there. At the old mill, the dance has started, and Brett tries to bring Butcher with him to a private place. He takes him to his buddies, but Butcher smashes a bottle over one guy's head and slashes another guy's throat before grabbing a chainsaw and tearing into Brett's groin with it. When the friends arrive, they see that they have roughly 13 minutes left before the switch becomes permanent. Booker sets an alarm on Millie's watch as they go look for the Butcher. Another jock approaches Josh before the Butcher jams a hook into the guy's eye. Millie comes and takes on the Butcher, but the cops show up and gives the Butcher an opening to escape. With help from her friends, they manage to subdue the Butcher. As Millie prepares to stab him, her alarm beeps, indicating that it's too late and the curse is permanent. Josh notices that the bell hasn't rang yet, and Millie recalls Booker's advice to set her clock five minutes later in order to avoid arriving to class late. After realizing that the time is actually 11.55 p.m., Millie stabs the butcher. They successfully switched bodies just as the police finds the butcher and shoot him down. The ambulance arrives and takes the butcher away. Despite the efforts of the paramedics to keep him stable, his heart rate seems to drop before finally stopping. He has apparently removed his fingertip pulse oximeter to pretend he's dead. Meanwhile, Millie returns home to Coral and Charlene. In the middle of the night, Millie suddenly hears a noise. To her surprise, it's the butcher and he's still alive and began to attack them. Charlene gets her gun and tries to shoot him but the butcher already took the bullets from her gun. After taking both Coral and Charlene down, he grabs Millie and taunts her for having a weak body, but she replies by saying that he has a weakness too, then kicks his balls. The butcher is hurt and it gives them time to fight back, as Millie grabs a broken table leg and impales him with it, finally bringing him down. Help us grow this channel. Subscribe for more videos every day, turn on notifications and leave a like and a comment. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one.